Well, some St. Charles County commuters are ready for some relief. A notorious stretch of Interstate 70 in the Winsville area will be seeing a big change. Fox News' Steph Bernthal now with why some say the changes are long overdue. Well, we're talking about a stretch of Interstate 70 uh, west of here. If you're traveling through Wentzville, you know there's a bend in the interstate. It takes you underneath an old railroad bridge. The population there has skyrocketed in recent years, but the number of lanes shrink from four to two. The owner of Avila Barbershop in Wentzville adjusts in some added time between clients because of traffic delays. Every client says, oh, I'm behind traffic, I'm on my way. He's thrilled to hear a stretch of Interstate 70, notorious for backups, will be seeing improvements. More of our clients will be here on time, which is excellent. Uh, we do take appointments, but you know, sometimes when it comes to appointments, they run behind and put us behind. When you compare a 1965 photo of that stretch of Interstate to a current photo, the only noticeable change is the addition of more traffic. It's a parking lot some days. The St. Charles County Executive says a recent vote by the East West Gateway Council of Governments formally solidified funding for the MoDOT project slated to begin in 2023. St. Louis is the gateway to the West, but if you want to go West from St. Louis, you got to squeeze under a railroad track on two lanes of traffic. That was a great improvement in 1951, the year I was born but is very inadequate for our needs, not only in the county, but in the St. Louis region. Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox shows the area of Interstate 70 between Wentzville Parkway and Route Z. You've got five lanes of interstate traffic coming together there and then having to squeeze into two lanes. Instead of two lanes in each direction, the project will eventually create four lanes in each direction and straighten some of the curve. Oh yeah, I mean more time for me to not have to rush to get to work. I mean I leave about 45 minutes early to get here every day. Elman says the county is home to many logistics and transportation businesses relying on Interstate 70 and believes the project will help attract even more business to the area. I think it's a big deal for the entire region. There were some other options that were considered, and one of those was to take one direction of 70 under the bridge and then build over the railroad with the other direction. That would give you even more room to expand the number of lanes, but that also would have been more costly. This project, MoDOT says, $38.5 million. Reporting live from St. Charles County tonight, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.